every U.S. state in a nutshell. I always wonder what it's like to live in other states, or if you're from another country, you probably wondered what it's like to live in America. So we're gonna put the states in alphabetical order and start with Alabama. This state has the stereotype that everybody gets down with their relatives, and their baby's got like an extra chromey or something, like, I don't know. All because of the cousin marriage thing. But people probably genuinely do marry their cousins in Alabama. And you know what? I don't think I want to find out any more about the state. Alaska, it is cold as sh up there. And sometimes it gets down to negative 30 degrees in their winters. How would you even be able to step out the cribbo and not have the ice block cut on your head? Like, I'm genuinely gonna get frozen alive and be stuck in an ice cube. The summers don't seem too bad, but the winters are brutal. Arizona, it's the complete opposite of Alaska. You could probably fry an egg on your car if it's like 120 degrees out. If a car is just soaking in the heat and you just sit there on your car seat after it's been soaking in the sun for like three hours, it is going to burn your skin. And they get dust storms down there. And you probably can't even see shit in it. Arkansas. I had to look up what Arkansas was even known for. Apparently it's known for Bill Clinton, Johnny Cash, and the Buffalo National River. And they're known for fried pickles. We're moving on. California. It's expensive as hell to live here. And there's a bunch of fake content creators and dumbass kick streamers that live down here. A lot of clout fiends and very high gas prices. But it is a nice vacation spot though. Colorado. What are they known for? Mountains? That's really about it to be honest. And what? Their sports teams? And I guess the setting for South Park. Connecticut. Who? What the hell is a Connecticut? Connecticut is not just a pioneer but a world leader in aerospace and manufacturing. That's tough. Delaware. The second smallest state behind Rhode Island. And apparently Delaware was the first ever state created. Wow. I didn't know this until exactly one minute ago. Florida. They got crazy f**ks down there. They got crocodiles. And they have oranges. Like how many times in the article have you seen an insane man titled Florida man did something out of pocket? Insert anything. Like it's always the Florida man doing something out of pocket. Again, another great vacation spot. They got Universal. Which is better than Disney by the way. Georgia. They're known for peaches and their crazy rap talent. Like, bro, literally half the rap game is from Atlanta because that's how talented they are. Look at this entire list. Like, they got Ken Carson, Future, Young Thug, Cardi, Offset. I'm not gonna keep going. And they have the world's skinniest jeans of all time, bro. Like, them bitches are gonna cut circulation. Hawaii. I would like to go there one day, except there's sometimes some volcano eruptions. And there's, like, tsunamis that hit them, too. It seems like a retirement home-ass vacation spot. Like, I go there when I'm, like, 60 years old and want to discover the world. Idaho. They're known for potatoes. And that's it. Illinois. Again, they have some good rappers out of Chicago, but I still think Atlanta washes. They have sports teams for hockey, baseball, basketball, football. And they have a signature pizza style in Chicago. Indiana. Are they known for racing? Because the Indy 500? And they're known for, like, the Colts and Notre Dame University. That's really about it. Iowa. They're known for nothing else except for a college football team. That's all I can think of. Kansas. Sounds like a pretty boring state to live in. The city named after them isn't even in their own state. It's in Missouri. How sad is that? It's like, why live in Kansas if you can live in Missouri? Kentucky. Their state shape is literally a fried chicken. If they're not known for fried chicken, then I really don't know what else they're known for. Their chicken is gas. And they have a pretty good college basketball team. Louisiana. You know what? This state actually has some motion. They got sports teams. That's always a good sign. And they're known for jazz music. So if you're turning up the jazz music all the time, you can thank Louisiana. Maine. This state was boring as shit when I went to it. It's basically acres of land with nobody there. But you know what? I will give Maine this. It looks like a pretty calm little state to live in. But since it's so high up north, the winters probably suck. This looks like the state where you go to just get away from people. And then just like soak in nature for a week. Maryland. The Ravens? That's really all I can think of. Massachusetts. People are known for driving like heads. And they're basically the motion man for all the New England states down there. They have Boston. They have a pretty good city life down there if you want to get stuck in traffic for like three hours. And they have literally every sports team in all of New England. And they have beaches down there. Michigan. You're getting your shit stolen if you leave a package on your front doorstep for too long. That shit's getting stolen. You could say goodbye. Especially if you live in the Detroit area because you cannot have shit in Detroit. It's like a whole internet meme. This is a local man in Detroit who lost his entire porch because so, okay, no, I'm playing. But they have a good sports scene, and they have a bunch of up-and-coming rappers. Minnesota, it's like Alaska too. It's cold as sh**. Like, there's a reason Lil Yachty made a song called Minnesota and said cold like Minnesota and that shit.
Mississippi, what are they known for? Probably just like Elvis Presley and blues music. And then what else do they have? Like rivers? I don't even know. Missouri, it's known for a gateway arch. Whoa. And then the Chiefs. Like, that's really about it. That's all I can think of. Like, I know Arrowhead Stadium, it's like known for being loud as shit. Like, other than Kansas City, I think Missouri just seems pretty boring. Montana. This is probably a spot where I would go, like, snowmobiling, skiing, or something like that. If I want to do a winter activity, I'm going to Montana. Nebraska. I was waiting for this one. This is probably like the worst state to live in by far. 100% no doubt. Like, do you just live on a farm, live in a field? If anyone is from Nebraska, I don't know, it's probably gonna be hard to find. But comment what is there to do in Nebraska? Because I'm genuinely curious. Like, am I wrong? It's just field. Like, it's the most rural place in the states. Nevada. This is probably the best party life known in the US. Everyone is hyping this shit up. Everyone's saying I gotta go when I turn 21. You know, spend all my YouTube life safe. Okay, I was joking, YouTube. I'm joking. Don't gamble. But they have like clubs and all that other stuff and they have people who do tricks on poles New Hampshire You basically just go to New Hampshire if you don't want to go to Montana It's another nature state kind of like Maine New Jersey this picture right here. It looks like a vibe I'm not gonna hold you off of this alone it, it looks like a pretty calm place to live and I guess it's called the garden state New Mexico seems like a pretty irrelevant state like why why go to New Mexico if you could go to Mexico I don't even know what the capital of New Mexico even is they're known as is the birthplace of the nuclear bomb. If people are making nuclear bombs here, chances are there's nothing going on here. It's just desert. New York. Oh, I got a lot to say about New York. I recently went here with one of my friends. Oh my God, the subways are musty as hell. And they're known for having the busiest city on the planet, bro. Not a second goes by where you hear beeping. You're constantly just hearing beeping. But other than that, there is so much to do there. And there's Canal Street where you have to be the greatest negotiator of all time. North and South Carolina. North Carolina has Charlotte and South Carolina has Myrtle Beach. They're, they're both pretty good. They have an amusement park called Carowinds in North Carolina. So you know what? They got some motion. And they have a good college basketball team and a not so good football team. But North and South Dakota on the other hand, they're that straight dog ass bro. They have no motion whatsoever. I'm taking North and South Carolina any day of the week over North and South Dakota. Like I've genuinely never met anyone that has said they're from the either of those two states. I don't even think it's any different from the Brad. Alaska, Ohio. <laughs> Dude, dude, said Ohio. If anyone genuinely still says only in Ohio, you are a lost cause when it comes to internet culture. I don't even know why this was so funny. You can't have shit in Detroit just wipes any day of the week. Ohio's got amusement parks like Cedar Point. That's that one park with the 400 foot roller coaster. Like if you don't have the momentum to get past this, you are fucked. And this ride just doesn't look fun either. But other than that, it seems like a pretty cool amusement park. And they have a very good football scene too. They have two football teams and NFL Hall of Fame. Oklahoma. What are they known for, like, tornadoes? Yeah, I don't really know too much about Oklahoma. Oregon. Why even go here if you could go to Seattle, Washington? Like, it seems like it's got way more motion. Like, what is there genuinely to do in Oregon? Like, I know they have the Ducks college football team, but other than that, nothing. Pennsylvania. They got hella motion with baseball. They literally hold the Little League World Series series for the entire globe and they got Hershey Park Rhode Island they must have like the best beaches in the entire world if it's called the ocean state and it's the smallest state you could probably drive the entire state in like 40 minutes Rhode Island somehow has a population of a million people as of 2021 how the hell do they fit how do they all fit in that tiny ass state and it is a higher population than North Dakota somehow Tennessee they're known for country music in Nashville I guess Nashville's got crazy motion they're known for bars and drinking too I guess so I guess if I get plastered and act like I'm a country dude like I sound like this then I guess I'm gonna get hella girls down there and same exact thing with Texas. And yes, I can confirm everything actually is bigger in Texas. And surprisingly, I didn't see anyone with a cowboy hat carrying a gun. But yeah, the food was insane. The city life was heat. Like, it, it was just fire. Utah. A lake? Is that what it's known for? Like, I really don't know what else is in Utah. Vermont. You have cabins and you go ski there and snowmobile or whatever. It's another nature state. It's literally a New Hampshire clone. Like, it looks so similar to New Hampshire. Virginia. They're known for the Appalachian Mountains. 
and Virginia Beach. And that is about it. Washington. Seattle looks like it's got hella motion. Like, look at this. This looks cool as hell, bro. But it's in, like, the top left corner of the U.S. They could drive to Canada within an hour and be there. West Virginia. What is the point of West Virginia if there's Virginia? Virginia just seems a lot better, honestly. Wisconsin. They're known for cheese. And the Green Bay Packers. Other than that, I really don't know what else. Wyoming. It's just road, dude. You literally could get your license there at 15 years old. That's how empty it is. The likelihood of you seeing somebody on the road in Wyoming is so low. You'll probably drive for miles without seeing any civilization. But it's probably another skiing stick. Watch this video right here. Watch it if you're a legend. Watch it or else you're a pussy. Bye.